It's that time of the month again. You have to make a presentation in PowerPoint and present that to your coworkers during an online Teams meeting. I think we've all been there. These presentations are usually the exact same and they go the exact same way all the time as well. You select your presentation from the PowerPoint Live section in the share window and there you go. You can now start presenting your presentation with your webcam in the corner. Or maybe you have a fun presentation mode enabled. But did you know that you can implement your webcam into presentations a little more interestingly? Like, did you know that you can implement a webcam feed directly into your PowerPoint slides and do all kinds of crazy stuff with it? It's called Cameo, and guess what? I'm about to tell you how you can use this feature in PowerPoint and use it in a lot of very interesting ways. Come along. When you're in PowerPoint, click the Insert tab in the ribbon. Once you're there, click on Cameo. A new object appears on your slide with a placeholder user icon inside of it. This is where your webcam feed will end up. The interesting thing about Cameo is that it will grab your webcam feed while you present your presentation in Microsoft Teams using PowerPoint Live. Just click the Layout button at the top of the screen and then click on Cameo. Now, when you present in PowerPoint, instead of appearing like how you usually would, you will appear inside of the slide itself. How cool is that? Now that we've added a Cameo object, we can also preview your webcam by clicking the camera icon in the corner. And if you have multiple cameras connected to your device, you can pick which one to preview in the drop-down menu underneath the preview button in the camera format section of the ribbon. Now, normally when you add a cameo object, it'll display as a circle. But this object is actually very editable and adaptable. So we can edit this object a whole bunch and give it a different look so it'll fit better within our style here. We have a few style presets in this section here in the camera format tab in the ribbon. But you can also manually change things by picking a shape from the camera shape menu. We can add a border. Add effects to it. Send it forward and backward in your design and more. So now that you know how you can implement Cameo into your presentations, let's go over some creative ways you can use this in your own presentations. Imagine that you introduce yourself a lot in your presentations. Normally you'd have a static picture of yourself with your name and maybe a short description of yourself next to it. It works, but it's pretty basic. With the Cameo feature, you can actually spice this slide up quite a bit by adding your actual webcam feed to it instead of that static picture. You can make it appear in a fun way and really surprise your audience. Another thing you can do with Cameo is adding it as a persistent element in your presentation. You can design a nice looking webcam element and then copy and paste it onto every slide. You can even move it by using animations or by using the morph transition if you really need to in order to comply with the design of your slide. And lastly, did you know you can also use the morph transition to animate your webcam in a bunch of other interesting ways? Let's say you got your webcam on this slide right here, and you wanted to transition to be part of this design right here on the next slide. Copy and paste your webcam onto the next slide and transform it so it fits properly. Then add the morph transition to the slide and watch your webcam transition smoothly into this design. It even changes shape and everything. Isn't this awesome? Oh yeah, your presentations are about to get a whole lot more personal, if you know what I mean. <laughs> As you can see though, the possibilities are endless with Cameo, the only real limitation really being your imagination. So hey, go ahead and try this one out for yourself, I am pretty sure you'll be impressing your co-workers with this one quite a bit. And that's it. If you found this helpful, then please leave a like or a comment down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the Workplace Buddy channel for more helpful videos like this one. And hey, while you're at it, check out our website as well, where you can learn more about our learnings and chatbot platforms to help the organizations you work for grow digitally and make the most out of Microsoft 365. We worked really hard on it. It's really fun. 
I promise. And that's it for me. I've been Mitch from Workplace Buddy, and I wish you all an opacatastic day.